Welcome to another edition of How to Fix It Yourself with Dave and Dave. So today we're going to be looking at replacing the interior door handle on the driver's side. We'll give you a close up as to why here in just a second. But it's not a terribly complicated uh, repair and they do tend to have some problems with the uh, door handles. Uh, this is the second time we've had a door handle replaced. The first time it was done under warranty, this time we're gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, it could be cables come loose, pins come loose. Um, in our case, it's a little different, but we'll give you a close up here of what we're gonna do. So let me show you what the problem is and why we're gonna do this, and then we'll start showing you how to take it apart and put it back together again. So the problem with this one is that the chrome plating is coming off the plastic. You can see down here where it came off down here a while ago and I put a little super glue on there to fix it. This one is starting to come out. Now the problem is, is that it is very sharp. And so uh, we actually have cut fingers on these in the past and that's not a good thing. So that's the reason we're gonna replace this door handle is so that we can get rid of this potential for cutting. Now, if you really don't wanna to go to that kind of trouble, you can always just do the super glue like I've done here or you can get a blade and kind of scrape it all off and try and keep it down at that level. But I think it'll be more instructive if we just go ahead and replace it. So the first piece that has to come out is this trim piece right here around the handle. Uh, and you just get a, a, a one of these plastic trim piece uh, items and just start very gently starting to work it off. You can see how it's starting to come off. Now, I will say that one of the things that you want to be really careful about while you're doing this is to take it slow and easy and gently. Don't get too excited about it. Just go ahead and work it and it'll start popping loose. Now, where you want to get into, we might get into trouble is where you get to this piece and this piece down here because it's very thin. And so you want to be careful about uh, doing that slowly and gently and not putting too much pressure on the uh, plastic parts because you certainly don't want to break those. It seems to work best if you go all the way to the end on this top part. Come on. There you go. And then there's a couple of things you can do. Neither very carefully cut up under here with the hook piece like this, or some people will take and take a smaller piece and go down from the inside here. Um, frankly, I don't have a, uh, an issue one way or the other. It's just that you want to get it to pop without putting too much pressure on it so as that you don't break anything. And that being a little bit stubborn. There we go. Now let's go ahead and come up under this part here. See if we can't get a little closer there. All right, we got one clip left to go and there it goes. And so we, oh, did this one back here. There we go. All right, so you can see they're just snap clips that you're dealing with in terms of popping them loose. So again, just be gentle with it and you can get them off pretty, uh, pretty easily. All right, so the next piece that needs to come off is this piece right here. Um, and by the way, while we're here, you can see that we need to get under the door itself eventually. So eventually we'll be taking the door off. So we have to get rid of all of this here in order to do that. So again, this is just clipped in place. So just go ahead and get after it and slowly pop things loose. Then you can come around here and see if I can get this turned right. Come around here and you'll notice there's a, a little clip right here. So get your thumbnail on that clip and that'll pop that out of there so you can remove that completely. So they put a piece of steel in here to give the handle some rigidity so it's 
you don't actually break the handle. So when you pull the door open and closed, you're actually putting pressure on this handle here. So that's the next thing that we need to take out. It consists of three Phillips head screwdriver screws. And then it has three 10 millimeter bolts, which they do have a hex recess in them, so you might try the hex head, but I find it a lot safer and um, a lot better just to go ahead and use a uh, ratchet on these. Oh, by the way, while I'm thinking of it, uh, when you take these out, look at the length because you'll notice that this one up here at the top is a much longer one than the ones at the bottom. So you'll notice that this is a real tall one. Here, maybe you can get a good shot of how tall it is. And you'll notice that these on the bottom are much shorter. And part of that is so it doesn't go in and damage the uh, electronic switches there. So both of these two on the bottom are much shorter. So just remember when you put it back together again that these are different lengths and you want to be sure you get the tall one and the top one and the two shorter ones down in the bottom. All right, so after you get the screws out and the bolts out, then that just comes right off there. This piece here has to come out next and there's two little clips under here and here. You have to pry up a little bit on them or twist your screwdriver to get it to come loose and you'll see that it's got hooks here and here. And so when you go through there, you're trying to push up on that clip to get it to clear back here where it's clipped onto. So once that comes off, then you start working your way around on the electrical here. You can pull that off and then you can uh, take and use a small screwdriver to Loosen that one and pop that one out. And again, a small screwdriver to loosen that one and pop that one out. So there's one more uh, 10 millimeter bolt I missed right there. So we'll uh, go ahead and pull that out of here. Come on, let's get out of there. And remember how we were talking about the uh, long and short bolts? This is another long bolt. So, so you should have two long bolts and two short bolts. All right, so you can see that's a long one there. So I like this tool because, you know, it, it pops it out without having to do a lot of stress on the uh, door. So it makes it so that you can not damage the clips. So you want to just get that up under there, go over to where you can feel where a clip is. Then you can hear it pop loose and you can just start working your way around on both sides. Okay. So the idea is to use the tools that will help create the least amount of damage so that you don't have to be replacing parts and in this case replacing clips. All right, so you want to lift up on it and you want to be sure you get it over the uh, edge right here. So when you put it back in, you make sure that you get this piece over that edge so that it not only seals against the window but it holds it on properly. So now we're ready to take the uh, handle out. So it has a 10 millimeter screw right here that we need to get out of there. And while the other ones were black, this one is silver, so it should be 
easy to keep track of this one versus the other ones that we were looking at. All right, now the door handle slides back. So there's some hooks here that go in these slots to pull it back. So now we can take the uh, cables loose and replace the uh, unit. So to get the cables loose, they're hooked down into the slots there and there. So this one on this side here is a ball and that goes to the handle itself. This one over here is your locking mechanism and so that one goes in like that and slides down into the slot there. So it's not too terribly difficult to just replace that. So I'll go grab the new one. Now you notice they've greased up this pretty nicely. So we'll go ahead and do the same. All right, so it turns out that the replacement part I got from Nissan actually already has the grease in there. It does look like a silicon grease rather than the lithium grease they used here. So we'll first put in the uh, locking mechanism. And so you just need to be sure you rotate that back so you have access to the hole. Slide that in, get it over here to the deal and make sure it snaps in place. Then we'll put in the uh, ball socket and same thing. We'll make sure we get that locked in. So now the door handle works and the locking mechanism works. So now we'll just take and slide that back into place. It locks in place and the screw is now available. So we'll just go ahead and get the uh, screw put back in place here. And you don't need to be real hard on it, just give it a little tug, because it is a plastic part. So the lock mechanism still works, and the door handle still works. So we're good to go. So now it's just a matter of putting things all back together again the way we took it off. All right, so to put the door panel back on, you wanna make sure you're gonna be able to get access to the uh, different cables. So you might kinda pull those through in advance. Then you wanna bring the door panel up high and drop it in, in behind. There it goes, okay. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this clip here that we didn't spot earlier is lined up in the hole. So it'll go in when you get that one done. Then you're gonna to wanna to start looking around the edges and making sure that all these clips are lined up to uh, their holes. So as you can start tapping that all together again. So. There we go. Now it's all down. And once you get a few clips lined out, the rest of them should line out pretty well, but again, it, it always is best to check to make sure. You can hear them popping in. All right, kind of pull on the edges, make sure you're in right. Okay, so now we can start putting uh, the pieces back together again. So remember to be sure and put the long bolt, one of the long bolts in here to secure the door. So we'll just go ahead and put this in. So now we're gonna put the uh, electrical switches back in. So you wanna be sure and put the, uh, those in, make sure they clip in tightly. Tightly, they clip in tight. And 
then kind of put the cables down in so that they slide in nice and you can go ahead and put that in oops that out of the way okay start getting all the clips in nice and tight so we've got this one to go in next and remember these clips go in those slots right there and there's a couple of alignment pins that have that kind of keep things lined up properly so make sure all the alignment pins and then go ahead and pop that in nice and tight next we have our uh, metal part that goes in and sets right in there remember that the long bolt goes in the top and the two short bolts go in the bottom Again, you want to just make them a little snug. Remember, you're dealing with plastic. It's not too tight, just a little umph. Then we have the three Phillips head screws that go in these three slots Now it's time to put the cover on, so be sure you first hook up the uh, electrical. And you've got some alignment pins. So when I put this in, before I put these covers on, I missed that there's a hook clip down here at the bottom that has to get slid into. And so it's not a big deal at this stage to go ahead and pop this all loose again. So go ahead and make sure that that clip gets in there. And then everything should go down nicely. And that piece should go in and your trim should look real nice as it matches up. All right, so the last thing then, we need to put the uh, cover over the door handle. So there's some alignment items. You want to make sure that you get all the alignment items put in place. And then you should be able to start popping it in. Okay, so now that's all level. So that completes the uh, repair on the door handle and gives us a new door handle that's not going to cut anybody's finger. We, I hope this has been helpful for you to see how to replace the uh, interior door handle. It's not a real hard job to do. You just have to be very careful because you're dealing with plastic parts and they have a lot of clips. And so if you pull too hard, you might crack a plastic and you don't want to do that. But I think we showed you how to loosen everything up and uh, be safe in terms of pulling things apart. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you have success in doing your uh, door handle. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already and please hit the like button that helps us a lot. So thank you very much and have a good day.